hi now the continuation of the origin of anterior posterior patterning the earlier i mentioned about mater maternal factors no maternal genes these maternal factors are in turn regulated by certain genes known as gap genes now gap genes are nothing but zygotic genes genes present in zygote and these are the first genes transcribed in the embryo when embryo is formed the first genes which is transcribed is gap genes in very important from your examination point of view now you know genes by transcription will or genes by transcription translation will produce proteins that's for sure now gap genes produces proteins known as gap gene proteins which in turn causes the transcription of another set of genes known as payroll genes and these payroll genes divide a particular embryo into two regions and as a result you can observe a striped pattern of seven vertical bands perpendicular to anterior posterior axis that diagram i have shown here like this vertical band formation it will lead to now the pair rule genes will produce again pair rule gene proteins it activates the transcription of another set of gene known as segment polarity genes and the segment polarity genes will divide the embryo into 14 segments and ultimately the protein products of gap genes pair rule genes segment polarity genes all will regulate into another set of genes known as homeo homeotic selector genes the chintin due to the transcription process regulates the developmental fate of all these segments so here once again i will tell the maternal factors the maternal factors and the genes which i already mentioned in the previous video those gets regulated by genes known as gap genes gap genes are zygotic genes and these are the first genes transcribed in the embryo like you know maternal genes gave rise to maternal gene proteins here also gap genes will produce gap gene proteins and what are the function of gap gene proteins it will cause the transcription of and the set of genes known as pair rule genes and what is the function of pair rule genes it will divide an embryo into two regions as a result of which it will result in the formation of seven vertical band in the anterior post perpendicular to the anterior posterior axis a pair rule genes will again produce which proteins obviously it will produce pair rule gene proteins and it will lead to the transcription activation of segment polarity genes and segment polarity genes will divide the embryo into 14 segments like earlier pair rule genes divide embryo into two regions segment polarity genes will divide into 14 segments then overall we have to take the protein products of whichever genes we mentioned gap genes pair rule genes segment polarity genes all these proteins will regulate homeotic selector genes and what is the function of homeotic selector genes it will regulate the developmental fate of each segments inside the embryo as a result of its transcription so these are the important areas which you have to concentrate as far as genes involvement in determination of anterior posterior axis i hope uh, you guys understood it thank you meet you in the next section bye